In this video, I'm going to talk about how to enable Google Pay on the back end of your order online page. So this is the front end. The front end shows what the customers see, where they can order, how they can view the menu and um, information about your um, services that you offer. So for example, we have categories here and menus here. But during the checkout page is where they'll see the payment options. So for example, when I go to add to cart, I add a bagel sandwich. When I go to the cart, you'll notice that the cart or the checkout page will give me some payment options, right? So in the back end of your order online page here, you can offer different payment options. So for example, when I go in the checkout page here, you can see all these payment options I have. I have credit card, pay a location, right? But there's another one that you can enable. It's called Google Pay. And I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. So first, Go to the back end, okay? So remember the back end. If you don't know how to go to the back end, I have another video you can watch on how to go to the back end. So here's the back end, okay? And you're gonna find this thing right here called Clover Orders. Press Settings and then go to Checkout Settings, okay? Checkout Settings. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way to the top until you see Google Pay right here, Google Pay. And all you do is you 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 click on it and it'll turn blue. Once it turns blue, that means you have to go all the way to the bottom and then press save changes. Okay. Make sure to press save changes for Google pay to be activated. Okay. If for some reason you come here and you don't see Google pay, that means you have it disabled in the new settings, right? So if you go in the new settings here, it's called beta checkout page. This has to be enabled. So for example, if I have it disabled, then I cannot use Google pay. So, for example, right here, and if I refresh the page, I will not be able to see Google Pay right here. So I go in the back end, see I can't see it. So I have to go back here and enable it here. So uh, so again, when you guys watch this video, start from this step first from here, and you'll work your way back to this section here, just in case you don't have this enabled and you can't see it, okay? Once you see that, then you can see Google Pay here and you can enable it and then and then what happens now is, let me press save changes one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and refresh the checkout page. Since uh, I don't, since the changes, there was no change to be made, uh, you may get that message. But let's go ahead and check out the checkout page again. I'm going to refresh the page and I should see Google Pay if I did it correctly. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is, Google Pay right here. So when I click on Google Pay, now my customers can pay with Google Pay. And it still goes to your Clover Merchant account. And that's how you enable Google Pay. And uh, subscribe, to the, subscribe to the channel because once Apple Pay is ready, I'll make another video on how to enable Apple Pay. But as of right now, we're waiting um, for that to be available. Right now, Clover hasn't released it to third-party developers. Once they do, you'll also have Apple Pay here as well. All right, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.